Welcome to Lightwear, your trusted partner in advanced LiDAR sensor technology. It is quick and easy to connect your Lightwear LW20C, SF20C, and SF000B micro LiDAR sensors to a PixHawk flight controller. In this video, we will take you through the steps to follow. For the purposes of the video, we will use the Lightwear LW20C device. Let's get started now with the process. Once you open the box of your Lightwear device, the LiDAR sensor will be nestled inside its protective foam and or anti-static bag. Remove the device from the box, taking care to discharge any static buildup on your body beforehand. To ensure the proper operation of the device, please ensure that you have installed the latest version of firmware on your LiDAR sensor. For more information on how to update the firmware on your Lightwear Micro LiDAR, refer to our separate video on that. Once you have updated the firmware on your device, let's move forward with the cable connections. At the bottom of the box, you will find a specific adapter for PixHawk. Connect the cable from the Lightwear device to the appropriate connector on the adapter board. From there, connect one of the cables that was bundled with your PixHawk to the adapter. Selecting the port to use on the PixHawk will depend on your sensor count. You can use either Serial or I2C to physically connect your Lightwear LiDAR to your PixHawk. If you are only using a single LiDAR sensor and want to directly connect that sensor to your PixHawk, you can use the Serial interface. Alternatively, if you want to connect multiple sensors to your PixHawk using a single bus or daisy chain architecture, I2C would be more appropriate for you. For serial connections, connect the cable to the PixHawk's Telem ports. If you are using I2C, connect the cable to the I2C port on the PixHawk. Let's configure the settings on the PixHawk now. If you have not downloaded Mission Planner from the Arda Pilot website, go ahead and do that before connecting your PixHawk device to your computer. Once you have Mission Planner running on your computer, connect the PixHawk to your computer via the USB connector on your PixHawk. Once inside Mission Planner, click on Connect to establish a connection with your PixHawk. Once the connection with your PixHawk has been established, navigate over to the config icon in the menu bar at the top left of the screen and select full parameter list. If you are using a serial connection, search for the setting called Serial 1 in the search box. Change the Serial 1 baud parameter to 115 followed by Serial 1 protocol to 9 for LiDAR. Save the parameters to the PixHawk with the right perms button. Lastly, search for and change RNG FND1 type to 8 for serial and save the parameters once more. If you are using I2C, navigate to RNG FND1 type and set the parameter to 7 for Lightwear. The last setting to change for an I2C connected sensor is RNG FND1 ADDR. Change it to the value of the sensor's I2C address. By default, this is set to 102 in decimal. RNG Max CM defines the maximum distance in centimeters that the rangefinder can reliably read. For the Lightwear SF000B, this should be set to 5,000 indicating 50 meters. For the SF20C and LW20C, this should be 10,000 for a maximum of 100 meters. From there, navigate to the RNG Min CM parameter and input 5. RNG FND 1 GND Clear is the distance between your LiDAR sensor and the ground in centimeters when the vehicle is on the ground. Measure this for your application and input the value in centimeters. We will select 10 centimeters in our example. RNG FND scaling should be set to 1. And that's it. You're all set. Thanks for watching.